I'm at a gypsy. You know what we didn't even talk about was the two-stroke build. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Two-stroke build, yeah, which I think was a big success, and I think you know the numbers did well, and everyone was happy. And we, you know, how many ideas people have and bring to bring to these companies and sponsors, like, oh, I have this idea, I want to build this and do this and that. Ninety-nine percent of the time, it doesn't happen. Yeah, you know, most people have ideas that never never come to fruition. I feel like we pulled it off. We had a good success of the builds and, and, and people coming and supporting it, which was cool. Yeah. It was very cool that we had so many supporters and the fans and people voting and being a part of it. But yeah, I think it's the start of like, gonna have to do it again, right? Then have to do more, then I get cooler and build off that. I think it was a good concept. Yeah. Did you enjoy the pro? Like, how much did you actually build? Did you do much of the work? I think I, you know, as far as I had my mechanic, obviously, that yeah. was helping. Um, but as far as like, you know, being the there, the design of the, the yeah, bikes, yeah, the yeah, colorways, yeah. I yeah. was on the phone ordering plastic, ordering, you know, parts. And, and as far as ordering all the stuff, you know, that was the major part in that. I mean, he helped me with a lot of the anodizing and the yeah, different the color coatings and stuff. And yeah, stuff. Yeah. But as far as the colors, like I picked all the colorways, laid out all the the style. I did all the graphics, the graphic design, all that was Singe graphics. Um, you know, I, if I could show you my text chain, dude, literally like a hundred texts back and nope, add, add this, take that out, add this. Um, so a lot, I probably spent, I don't know, probably a good solid couple weeks of time on it. Yeah. You know, like straight of just hours, eight hour days. Um, it was a lot of time, and then, like I said, and then we built the retro bike too, uh, which it was all part of that. Like yeah. I, you know, I thought I I got the two bikes from Yamaha, so I'm like, dude, we got to like just do two at once. But um, either way, it's uh, as far as working on the bike, I did like go there to film that day and help put in put like the engine and the swing arm and some parts on it. But he's a real mechanic, yeah, right? Yeah, like the. Yeah. Like he did a great job on it, so um, I feel like that 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 was something. Yeah, I would like to do again. And I got two badass bikes to to ride. You know, yeah. It's uh, I feel like that was a uh, a cool deal for sure. Yeah, I had so much fun. We we did man, ours was so gnarly. Yeah. Like we just had so much going on. Yeah, we were living in fucking Airbnbs, <laughs> and we were like moving yeah. out of one Airbnb, and I had like all the bike apart, and yeah. then I had to go to another one. And yeah. I ended up building the whole thing in one day. Uh, yeah, that's. Well, I had really I had a mechanic yeah. friend of mine, yeah. Cole, yeah. and we literally started. I had I I had two days, so I did one day where I fully disassembled. I just yeah. pulled the entire like frame the mm -hmm. whole thing right. And then uh, I literally had a tray, like my tray from motorsport yeah. I bought. I fucking tie down it into the back of the van because I laid all the bolts out. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, now I'm going to get this shit. So I just like put the tray, strap yeah. the tray down. But yeah, so I did like two days, one day of pulling it apart. Uh -huh. And then I had two days of like doing all the cleaning and yeah. like the vapor blast and all that shit. Mm -hmm. And then I just had like this massive pile of parts. And then we just put the whole bike together in yeah. one day. The clutch, the GYTR clutch, the yeah. flywheel, like, like everything, dude. It took us like, I think we started at about 11 in the mm -hmm. morning and we finished at like 1.30 at night. Yeah. And I flew to Dubai the next day. Damn. Like it yeah. was a the fucking, grind. it was a send, bro. Yeah, yeah. And the whole time I'm like, I better not fuck this up. Yeah. Like, cause I knew how good yours was going to yeah, be. Yeah. But I was pumped with mm. the, like the response. Like yeah. people were super into it. Yeah. And I think it's a it's a storyline a lot of people can relate with, with. A lot of people own two strokes, and yeah. I think it was a cool storyline. And I think we just got to build off that for the next one. Yeah. You know, I got we got to get creative, and and I like the crowd participation, and I feel like that's important, super important part of it. Yeah, you know. So I don't know. I think it's good. I mean, I got fortunate. I like Mackenzie. The mechanic that lived down the street that he was like all like super into he it. He was just keen. Loved it. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, sweet. So that helped a lot. And he has a suspension company called Viva Suspension. So he like he like did all he like valved all the suspension. It actually worked really good. Like yeah. I went and tested it for a day. It was a little soft and he stiffened like he tweaked it and like within two days it was dialed. Yeah. I'm like, dude, this stuff works really good. It was like I would race with it and ride it. And I, I don't know, I was like, that was a cool adventure for me. No, no. I say, got me out of my comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm keen. For, I'm keen for the next <laughs> one. Right. When do you reckon we should do it? Game on. Yeah. Um. Shit. When do we got time? No. It'd be more. Uh, the time I have, the best time I have, is more in, in the winter. Yeah. You know, off season. Yeah. That's when I got a little more time. 
Because I got yeah. ideas. We've spoke about that. Yeah, yeah. New Year's yeah. would be sick to release it and Ooh, have that, that big, that big place sick. where everyone can be a part of it. Maybe it's an open riding area. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.